same, okay? And for the sake of consistency, uh, I will focus on the same alcohol, and that will be that secondary alcohol. So, again, if we have a alcohol drawn as such, right? This is the alcohol we're focusing on, and we are reacting it, not with H2SO4, but now we will react it with POCl3 and pyridine. Okay, pyridine is the new reagents. These two are the new reagents you use in forming the new alkene product. And pyridine looks something like this. Okay. Lone pair on the nitrogen. So that's what pyridine looks like. Okay. Let's zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. So when you react it with this alcohol, you generate this alkene. Okay. Same thing uh, in this example. In other examples, there might not be the same uh, alkene product if you use POCl3 and pyridine or H2SO4. So in this case, this uh, POCl3 and pyridine, this is the most universal reagent, okay? You can use these reagents to react it with a primary, secondary, or even tertiary alcohol, and the reaction will proceed to form an alkene product, okay? So this reaction works with all three types of alcohol, so primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohols, okay? So keep that in mind, that's very important. A few things you need to keep in mind when um, doing uh, this type of a reaction using POCl3 and pyridine is that um, this falls in E2 elimination style and there are no possible rearrangement, okay? Because in this case, oops, forgot the end, rearrangement, okay? So no alkyl or hydride shifts. Oh, I can't spell today. Okay, hydride shifts, okay? Sorry about that. So no alkyl or hydride shifts. It's very important, okay? So let's zoom out just a little bit. Um, and so the reason for that is that there are no carbocation intermediate steps in this reaction. Uh, think back to first semester organic chemistry and the E2 elimination. Um, when you're forming that alkene product, everything occurs at once. So that's very important and keep, you know, keep, take that into consideration when you're doing this problem using POCO3 and pyridine. So let's go on to the uh, reaction uh, mechanism, okay? So, if this is your alcohol, right, this is a two-step reaction mechanism. And this is POCO3. Right? What happens is that you form a bond between the oxygen and the phosphorus and you kick off chlorine. Okay? The product of this step is so you have a byproduct of the step and that's the chlorine minus. Now, the product of this first step is this. You have this H here and you have POCl2, okay? You have a positive charge on oxygen. Now what happens is that you're going to do the elimination step, okay? So again, in this case, this is a very simple example. Um, you could choose to eliminate any of the hydrogens on this carbon or this carbon because the alkene product you form will be the same thing, okay? So, again, I'll focus on this H over here. And um, instead of having the chlorine pick up this H, we'll have pyridine pick up the, that hydrogen. So, yeah, pyridine right here. Excuse me, with this lone pairs. It's going to come and form a 
bond between the N and the H. The pair of electrons right here are going to form the double bond and you're going to kick off the leaving group and the product of this step I'll draw it down here okay the product of this step is your alkene okay and that's the major product that we want to focus on some other not so important um, products you form are the pyridine with the hydrogen attached to it but now the nitrogen has a positive charge okay um, you, know, you still have chlorine present you still have the leaving group the OH right OH POCl2 okay so you have this plus this plus this and this is our major product okay and there you have it let's go over the this um, this style of making an alkene once more let's do a quick little recap again um, you can use a primary secondary or tertiary alcohol and you can react it with POCl3 and pyridine to give you an alkene product this is the most universal kind it is not like the H2SO4 reaction I showed you in the earlier part of this video where it specifically discriminates against primary alcohols okay you have to keep in mind that this is an E2 elimination um, style of mechanism there are no rearrangement no alkyl shifts or hydride shifts okay the reaction mechanism is pretty straightforward a pair of electrons a lone pair on the oxygen uh, makes a bond between the oxygen and the phosphorus you kick off a chlorine and there's your chlorine as a little byproduct of this step okay so this is the intermediate you form you have the same structure right and now you have this POCl2 bond to the oxygen the oxygen has a positive charge okay what happens now is that you can pick to kick off or lose this H over here or an H over here it doesn't matter you form the same alkene product so the pyridine picks up this H you form the double bond here and you kick off the leaving group right here and the product of that step is your alkene some other not so important things that you form is the pyridine with the H attached to it you have a positive charge on the nitrogen you have the chlorine with the negative charge and you have your leaving group and there you have it and these are the main ways how you can form and how you could form an alkene starting off with an alcohol